Who's ready for sacrifice time? Kale na, Kale na. Congratulations, martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. No thanks. <laughs> Bet no one tried that. What do you got here? The show requires that you sit in the chair. Yeah? Make me. That's what I thought. It is absolutely essential that you sit in the chair. Well, what happens if I don't? Yeah. You gonna do something about that if I don't sit in that chair? You have no other choice. You must sit in the chair. I got a choice right here. You have no other choice. You must sit in the chair. Look, man. Just because I'm making YouTube videos doesn't mean you can tell me what to do. I'm only sitting in this chair because we need you content. You have no other choice. You must sit in the chair. All right, well, if I'm sitting, I'm drinking a beer. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, open another. it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. No, I but have one today. But with your chin held high, soldier. And remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. What, uh, what's going on over there? integrated that robot Eddie that's what I like to see 
EM Goss rifle. I already had these in Angel Park. Man, look at the fucking polygons on this thing. XT assault gun. What's that? I this looks like it's from Borderlands. Okay. Oh, what do we got here? Intelligence. So, you must be behind all of this, aren't you? Override lockdown. System recording, Vault 11 solution. Automated response, Vault 11 solution. So the survivors, okay, wait, all right, so, okay, so what was the guy's name again? Um, Roy, he was leading that revolution against the overseer, Kate, because he wanted to get the voting system put back in, um, and they took control of the lower levels. Um, and I guess in the fighting, there was only five people remaining, like from the whole vault. That, that seems insane, but. Um, and so now they're bargaining with the mainframe. Hmm. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. Well, it's good to know that that company cares about your safety. Um, so yeah, it was a test. vault Tech wanted to know if um, the Vault would be willing to sacrifice a person uh, in order to... Uh, preserve their entire vault. They were trying to determine whether or not they would choose to right, make the right decision. And it took them a while to make that right decision. It took them until there was only five people left. So, that's the story of Vault 11. The survivors, uh, they killed themselves, except for one. It, I think there's one left alive, because if you remember that recording, when we came into the vault, it was, um, it was like, you heard, you heard five voices, because I remember it, in the subtitles it said voice number five or whatever. Um, and then 
when it did the subtitles for the gunshots, it was like fifth or fourth gunshot. So, yeah. Okay. Not too shabby. pick these up so we got our yeah we got all the components we needed for the Brotherhood um, to fix their air filtration system um, that was the whole reason we were coming into the vaults they wanted uh, parts for that so that's great um, we can go back there but I also want to go back to the thorn um, because we have eggs to turn in. Let's see. And I guess this is going to be the moment of truth. Will the game crash when I leave the vault? Please don't. Please don't. So yeah, we can go to the Brotherhood, but I'm going to stop by the Thorn, just because we have these Mantis eggs I'd like to get rid of. What's up? Welcome back, stranger. Uh, let's talk about the creature's eggs you need. Do you have good news for the thorn? I have brought the giant mantis eggs. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your service. I trust that we're in agreement over it. Well... Who else can bring you so many intact eggs? I deserve a bigger reward. You speak the truth, stranger. And the thorn lives by the justice that honor and strength dispense. Here's a more fitting sum. Mm. So what else? Bring me a dozen rad scorpion eggs. I'll see to it that you're rewarded fairly. Where can I find them? The eggs I seek are not easy to find, stranger. Your best chances are in the mountains north of Good Springs and west from Quarry Junction. And I will do it. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. Okay. Okay. Those fiend junkies over at Vault 3 have been taking some hits. Hmm. I say kill them all. Kind of want to see if I can go back to Vault 22, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> um, since we... Alright, so... Since we already did, like, the Vault 22 quest, like, the, the NCR one on camera, I'll probably try to do it again, but I'll probably just do it off camera. Um, just because... Like, you've already seen it. And if it doesn't work out, I don't have to worry about wasting time recording it. Because, um, yeah, basically where it crashed was we were leaving the vault to go turn in the quest. So, um, let's go do this. Give the Brotherhood their parts.
save. What's up? Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? Uh, wait, what? I can spare a little time. Wait, I... do I not have them all? Oh. Oops. I was gonna say, why am I turning them into you? Doesn't really make sense. Um... The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Lorenzo. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Yeah. Uh, here they are. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. No problem. Mini nuke dud. Jacketed flat point. Hey, let's go talk to this guy. All right, now what's up? Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? I did it. Lorenzo's on it. Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios. But I left that battle scarred by fear, and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Hey, I liked. Ooh, ooh, ah. Oh. So, anything else? Welcome, outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios, but I hope to dissuade him. <laughs> what can I do for you? That would be pretty cool. I want to join the Brotherhood. You've certainly earned the right, but I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such a service. You are still breathing. However, of me. I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? Uh, yeah, sure. As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. I want you to head up to the summit of Black Mountain and install this remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. 
It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck. I mean, it's an over-the-horizon radar. I don't think it's going to give you that much ground intel, but... Okay. Whoa, who, what, what's going on? Is that the shooting range? Hey! You scared me. <laughs> Alright, why are you not wearing... You are out of uniform, soldier. Where is your Mark, Co Mark II combat armor? said that, leave it in the comments. So this should be easy considering uh pretty sure Black Mountain's abandoned. <laughs> Got anything down here? up, Neil? Be nice if we can see what we're doing. on the mini map. Apparently there's a door I haven't gone through. Curious what that is. What am I doing? Activate radar console. This console appears to connect to radar and other detection systems. Install remote signal transmitter. You quickly install the device as directed. Immediately a small green light on it begins pulsing, indicating that it has begun transmitting. Is this like a wireless transmission? Like, hmm. Okay. Wait, was there something I had to do? Shit. Oh, wait, I just want us to go back. All right, so what's this building I haven't discovered? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think that's part of the uh, New Vegas bounties. Okay, that's... Yeah, because last time we came up here, we probably didn't have bounties 2 installed. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. So we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. Hmm. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Okay. 
Nice. So, can I get my power armor now? Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I installed the device up at Black Mountain, as instructed. Sounds like you might want to be giving me some of that power armor training. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. Mm. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Well, thank you. So he said I'm a paladin? I mean, isn't paladin above knight? I mean, jeez, man. I'm gonna have to, like, promote me a fucking general right off the bat. If anything, I kind of would have preferred to be a scribe. Well, let's go see what's available now in the armory. We got anything fancy. Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Good news for this, though, let me tell you. I can't wait to start getting more goods. So what are you here for? Guns. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. What do we got? Um... I guess this is kind of cool. good that's it well all right guess I'll another satisfied hold on let me let me show you guys this shotgun real quick It's kind of cool. All right, well, we're going to cut here and yeah, <laughs> we'll see y'all later.